this video, we're going to talk about some strategies on how to keep your CRM organized and some of the benefits of categorizing your CRM. My name is Tarmila Rajasingham, licensed realtor with the XP Realty Brokerage based in Toronto, and I'm super happy that you're here today. I'm going to show you some back end of KV Core. If you want to get access to our top social media course and lead gen tools to help scale your business and to dominate your market, you can partner with me to get out access to all of these tools for free and click on the link in the description below for my calendar to book a one-on-one -on -one with me so now let's get started on how to keep your crm organized and to categorize your clients and your leads so let us make my image a little bit smaller so you can see more of what I have to show you. So let's pull that to the side. So today, uh, for privacy and information, uh, to keep some of the information private of some of our clients, I just made up a, a profile of for me so that I can show you really in the back end of what that looks like and how to keep everything organized. So you'll notice when you click on a lead or a client or whomever, it'll pull up a, a little a pop-up like this and it gives you and information on all of this information you have about a customer so why it's important and what are some strategies on how to keep your CRM organized it's really important right at the top here you are constantly and you can do this automatically as well but it's also important that when you are nurturing and converting your leads you are able to track that here so obviously you can see I put myself as client but you can do that you know put them on contract whatever whatever they may be and the type of person are they are are they looking to buy and sell are they just listing with you so make sure that you are able to identify this here so let's say you're looking to run a email marketing campaign or send out a mass text message whatever they might be you are ensuring that content is getting to the right target audience that's why it's super important to have your content organized or oh, it's really no point in you want to have an intention to all of your marketing strategies and what you're doing and intention behind all of those action. So it's really important who these people are and what kind of information they're going to be receiving from you. And again, another important factor to all of this is the hashtag portion and is to help you categorize them. And for me, I put myself as a listing. So maybe I don't need a buyer here, but, and also to categorize, I like to really keep this organized in a way. How did this lead come in? And when, this a lead comes in through your KV Core paid ad or a property boost, it automatically identifies them here using a hashtag so you know exactly what kind of a method they came in from. But let's say they were manually added because you met them, um, you know, at a coffee shop or, or they weren't a part of your sphere. So it's super important to, you know, come in here and add in, you know, their sphere. So, or, you know, or they came in through a particular uh, an ad you ran. Maybe it's for buyer's guide, and then you can add that as well. So it's really important that you categorize them so that you know how they got here, who they are, and what kind of information they might be getting from you. But because I put tenant's guide, I don't have to put buyer's guide, but I'm just giving you an example of what that is. So how to keep this really categorizing your leads in a way that you're able to communicate with them in the best way possible and that when you're running campaigns they're targeted and that's the really most important part that i want to hit home today is really understanding what the benefits of you doing all this work up front is for and you can automatically do some of these as well and another part of keeping your crm organized is using some of the features that are available for you i love using add node so right here you'll notice that i pinned a note to the top and i do this because every time you know anytime you're having a touch point with a client and particularly a phone conversation where you're really pre-qualifying your lead and getting more information out of them and to try to best um you know put in an alert or to serve them right but whether you're showing a property for them and to find out a particular property or to help them list and you're finding out what their needs are why they're selling where they're looking to move you're able to write all of that information here and i've had leads who giving me information about you know looking for a property in such area because of their family and they have kids that are in elementary school and they're looking for an elementary school in such and such district so it's really important you're capturing and listening listening to their needs and you're capturing this in notes but you don't have it in different places on your phone or on a piece of notepaper because they're all sitting really in your CRM so that they're in an organized place and it's all in one place so it's really important that you're leveraging these tools that are available for you so while I'm on a conversation or a call with my lead I am actually writing all this information here and I pin it right to the top 
because I'm talking to a number of different people on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. I may have spoken to, um, you know, had touch points with over 20 to 50 people, and they would have all told me tons of different things. And in order to keep nurturing these people so that you can convert them into a client, you want to be able to track that. And that's what, why this is this strategy is super important, is that you're tracking them all in one place. So let's say you put in a reminder to touch base with them and to put an action for yourself, let's say, to call them in two weeks' time you're able to come back and say, oh my goodness, yes, I was in touch with this person at this and such point. I remember that they were going to speak to their lender and get back to me on what their budget is and their mortgage agents. So you had that note available for you so you could pick up exactly where you left off and you're kind of following up and you don't have to start that conversation all over again. And they see that you're an organized person as well. And whatever action that you do is tracked here in this timeline, whether you call them, you text them, you know, what kind of property they've looked at. It's super important that your these are tracked and that you're able to use these in a in a strategic manner so that it's helping you scale your business and to take your business to the really the, to the next level and to capitalize on these tools that are available i hope you found this video helpful for you and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below if you have any questions as well and i'm happy that you were able to join me in watching this video and if you have any questions as to some of the tools that we have available for us through exp as well as through my course um through my group um sorry for social media course as well as other lead gen tools feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one with me. My link is in the description below for my calendar. Um, I hope to have a chat with you in the future. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.